Hey, today I want to talk about a British sitcom. It's called The IT Crowd. I'm not sure you may have heard of this show or not, but this is a show that actually ran from 2006 to 2013, I think. And the reason that I know it, and I think a lot of people know it, is because this film has a huge cult following. This is very popular on Reddit and on Twitter too. And through years, it seems that this show's fame and the popularity has just significantly grown. People seem to like it every year more and there are just more fans and more people enthusiastically to be talking about it. So I wanted to watch this show for a long time and I finally got a chance to catch it on Netflix. There's actually, I think, 25 episodes that ran from four seasons. Actually, the fifth season has a finale episode that's a double feature episode. This show was, I think, commissioned for a five season, but they didn't end up doing the last season. So I don't know what was going on. Now to think about it, this show mainly ran for four seasons. So that's the four season I'm going to talk about. So I'm going to talk about the finale. The first season is actually a very closed off and like any other first season of sitcom where nothing sort of clicks, everything is a little awkward. And I, as I'm more accustomed to American sitcoms, I'm more accustomed to their jokes, their tropes or the way they behave. So seeing British people felt a little off. This also happened to me when I watched the Ricky Gervais office. So where there are some jokes or some situations which did not really kind of felt good to me. Now as the season progresses and there's a weird thing that happens, I think between season one and two, they completely changes their setup, the basement that they are in and the IT department they are in, everything changes and then we'll mention it. This is what I've seen some things about British shows or British sitcoms in particular. It's like they do a lot of things that the American don't. It just means that <coughs> their consistency or the way they do things sometimes just may not make sense to you. Like, an American sitcom will never change their setting out of nowhere and just end up pretending it's normal, but they did. So that's kind of weird. And another complaint that I have about British sitcoms and TV shows in general is that their finales do not feel <coughs> much of like a finale. Their finale seems more like a episode of any other season. So that's a little weird. So these characters, they do not actually have any arcs. And I think that what's promote this film to have a, such a cult following because you can watch every single episode out of the merit of his own intellectual intensity, I guess. Now, I think the breakthrough character was Richard Ayoden because Richard Ayoden actually also starred in the US version of this show at the same character, Morris Moss. So that also tells you how prominent he is. And I think a lot of people actually know about this character from a page called 50 Nerds of Grey or something like that where Richard Arred is the profile picture of this page. So I think that's some of the ways that IT crowd actually builds up to be something else. Now, through the later seasons, a lot of his episodes and gags and the recurring themes actually kind of feels like Seinfeld. And Seinfeld is one of my favorite shows, so naturally I like those episodes and the, I very much enjoyed those arcs. But in other ways, this show felt quite off, to be honest. And I can absolutely see why this show did not have a great viewers rating or fan when, it's, when, it, is, when it was running or when it was actually being aired. But now, after looking back almost a decade later, this show is more popular than ever. And that's why I guess Netflix commissioned it, because there's no reason why anybody would commission it. So now I'm thinking that IT Crowd may actually deserve a very long term review because in first watch I felt like it was a very mediocre sitcom and what happened to it actually ha should happen. Now the character Maurice Moss is very funny and Roy plays by Chris Odard, that, that, they are very funny and their boss he's very funny. So these are some fun, funny characters but I don't think that this show can have a cult following but this show just will definitely get lost in the sea of other vast superior sitcoms that's out there because in a lot of ways a lot of plot stuff feels like a rehash of some or at least homage of some Seinfeld TV shows. So that's why I think I'm going to get this show and this whole series I'm gonna say it's a very solid three and a half out of five.